Hi and hello, I am Athena Pondian here. Welcome to the Anatomy for the Biomedical Engineers classroom once again. Today we are going to discuss about some of the important topics of the skeletal system. Yesterday we just go through some of the facts of the uh, uh, skeletal system. Today we are going to discuss about some of the different classifications of bones. Come let me start the class now. In the previous class, we have just discussed about uh, the introduction of the skeletal system. In the introduction of the skeletal system, we crossed over uh, uh, what is the, how we can able to classify that whole skeletal system. The whole skeletal system can be divided into the axial and, and the upper particular. So apart from this, in the skeletal system, there are so many bones are there. So according to the length of, according to the size of that particular bones of the skeletal system, we can able to classify the bones into the five different types. What are they? According to the size of the bone, we can able to classify the bones into flat bone, long bone, short bone, irregular bone, and the last is sesamoid bone. So please remember the names, I will tell you each and everything separately. So flat bone, long bone, short bone, then uh, irregular bone and the last is sesamoid bone. These are all the different sizes we are available in the skeletal system of bones. Okay. So under the uh, size of the bone, the flat bone is the first type. So the flat bone, the name itself shows that it is look like a flat in nature. It is especially present in your cranial, the three lobes of the cranial. Of course, you know that there are four different lobes of there in the cranial system that is in the skull. That is frontal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe and temporal lobe. Apart from the temporal lobe, all these lobes are considered, all these lobes are uh, covered by the flat bones. Please remember, apart from the temporal bone, all these bones are covered by the flat bone. Okay, then the next portion where the flat bone is present is your rib cages. That is in the chest region, that is the ribs are there, the rib cages are made up of full of flat bones and then your pelvic regions your pelvic regions in the hip region there are so many bones are there that are also looking like your pelvic uh, that is flat bone mostly 40 percentage of the pelvic bones are made up of flat bones okay so please remember these are all the three main region where the flat bone is present the main function of this flat bone is give extra protection to the internal organs because all the things that is uh, the, this particular flat bones in the cranial it will protect the brain that is a major organ and this particular ribs that is protecting the internal organ that is major organ heart and the lungs and then this pelvic region it will protect some of the uh, excretory organ and the digestive organ and also the reproductive organ so this is the main important bone it will protect and protection is the main function it will protect most of the internal major organs okay The next classification of bone according to the size is long bone. The name itself shows that it looks like long. Okay. Most of the your bones present in your upper upper limbs and the lower limbs are considered as the long bone. Okay. Especially femur, fibula, and tibia. These three are present in the lower limbs. In the leg region, these three are present. In that, among this long bone, the very longest bone is considered as the femur. The femur that is connect the pelvic region and the knee. In the thigh region, this particular femur is present. So femur, fibula and tibia. This is These are all the things present in the lower limbs. And humerus, ulna and radius. So these are all the present in the upper limbs. So these three, these uh, six bones are ma majorly considered as long bone. Okay. So when you are looking at the skeletal system, it is clearly, we, we can able to clearly see the size of this particular uh, uh, six different bones that is femur, fibula, fibula and tibia, humerus, radius and ulna. So upper arms and the lower arms bones are very long bone and most of the very most longest bone is nothing but the femur. It is connecting the pelvic region and the knee. Okay. So what is the function of these particular bones are? It is exposurely giving the support, exposurely for movement at time. For the movement at time, it will give the support to the organs. If you want to move or if you want to move the hand like this, if you want to move a, a leg, leg for walking or running, whatever it may be, this particular bones give the support along with the muscles. Okay. 
the next type of classification of bone is short bone so the short bone the name itself shows that it is very short when compared to all the other bone is especially present in your ankle your wrist and most of the joints so here the short bones are present ankle is nothing but you know in your lower limb that is a uh, connection between your where you were uh, a femur that is fibula region and the lower part foot region that is ankle there then the wrist region is nothing but here this is a wrist region it will connecting the palm and the radius and ulna and this particular joints most of the joint especially knee joints all the things are made up of this particular short bone okay so this particular short bone do the function call it attain some of the inclination support how far this particular long bone is used for support uh, 90% of the support the inclination support inclination supports nothing but if you want to rotate the hand like this if i if you want to rotate if you are want to write it at time it needs some of the inclination movement so for that particular thing this particular short bones are very useful okay the short bones are entirely different from the smallest bone please remember this this, uh, this short bone and long bone is considered as the if you look like very short it very long and very short the very smallest bone in the human body is nothing but your malleus incus and staves please remember malleus incus and staves but this thing this uh, smallest bone is not coming under the classification long bone short bone one of the most smallest bone in a human body you need to remember that is malleus incus and staves this is present in your internal ear then the next size of the bone is irregular bone the name itself shows that it is not having a special shape okay it is irregular in arrangements okay especially the best example is sacral region of our vertebral column of course we know that in the segments of the vertebral column the last region coccygeal in front of that that is a, a sacral is present that particular sacral segment is irregular in shape because of the size variations happens in our human body this sacral segments is irregular in shape this is especially connecting your vertebral column and the other region that is internal organs the main function of this particular sacral region is give the protection to the abdominal internal organs okay the next type of bone is sesamoid bone a sesamoid bone are considered as independent bone the independently look bone that is present especially in the human body in the region of knee in the region there is a portion called the patella it is actually called as a tendon it is actually called as a tendon we know that hope you know that what is tendon and ligament tendon is nothing but the bone and the muscle connection ligament is nothing but the bone and the bone connection this patella is considered as the tendon this particular tendon is coming under this sesamoid bone this is independent in nature it is independent and round ball like structure ball like the uh, uh, nature that will connect your knee region and particularly in the elbow region is also so this particular thing is coming under the sesamoid and main function of this particular thing is it attains the inclinational movement and the support okay so this is the sesamoid bone so that's all about the classification of bones according to the size that is flat bone long bone short bone irregular bone and sesamoid bone this is the five different classification of bones according to the size of the bones in the skeletal system hope you understand so in the next class we are going to see the joints of the skeletal system thank you